Okay, y'all, so um, bit of a wedding update. So I am about to order this dress from Shein, okay? So this is $47. My only, okay, this is not my first choice, but it was definitely one of my choices. Um, really, the price <laughs> is what um, I liked about it. And uh, I'm just, I wanted to touch the ground, and I'm tall. So I just hope that it touches the ground. Um, yeah, I hope that it touches the ground. And it's only $47. So my original, well, like my first choice dress was so beautiful. And it is still beautiful. Like it's so bomb. This was like one that I wanted. As you can see, like back out train. Um, it wasn't like a satin silk, but this is $450. I'm going to wear this dress for a few hours. Like I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do it, child. So... I'm going to go ahead and get the Shein dress um, for $47. And um, it has really good reviews. It looked pretty on people. So I just hope that it's long enough for me. And um, yeah, so I'm testing my hair. Hold on. I have on this dress because I'm going somewhere. But uh, I'm testing out this hair because this is, um, I already had this wig, um, which is crazy. It's a U-Par wig that I made a while, years ago, and I already had it, and I'm freaking sitting up on Amazon looking up hair, looking for hair. Girl, something told me, child, go, go and go in your hair closet and get you some hair. And I put this on just to test it out, and I think it's actually going to work. <laughs> um, so I plan on like, you know, having this style and getting like a headband or something. Um, but literally the lesson that i'm learning in this whole wedding ordeal is all that you have is all that you need like we're not really outsourcing we're probably going to outsource some chairs and an arch that's it the location is free i already have pastors to officiate we got speakers. We got iPhones for music. Uh, also, I mean, we're outsourcing to celebrate, but we're going to a restaurant. So, but like, it's literally, it can happen, you know? So I just want to encourage anyone out there, any couples who you know y'all need to get married. Don't let money stop you from obeying God. Don't let money stop you and keep you living in a place that you know that you don't need to be living in, a place that you know you don't have any peace about. So, Literally all that you have is all that you need. And I'm just so grateful because my heart's desires are being met. Like this was something that I wanted. Only thing I'm missing is my Airbnb. Cause I wanted that Airbnb, but I'm still getting the same view in everything. So um, just be smart. I, like I was literally finna order me some hair on Amazon. It was $50, but still, I don't have to order that. That's one less thing. Now my next thing is makeup and I don't know if I'm going to get my makeup done or not, because I can literally do it myself. And these girls, yes, I do believe they're worth the money, but it's kind of hard for me to pay when I know it's something that I can do. And I know how I am, so I wouldn't even want you to do everything. And I want to still look like myself, and I don't really know your products like that. Like, so I, I don't know. Only thing that I'm like, want that I know I don't really know how to do or haven't tried is like contouring, like the nose and stuff, but. I guess I could watch some videos and I'll test it out. I don't know what eye makeup I want to do, but I know that I do know how to do it. Oh, this man irritates me. Uh. He gets when he starts to feel himself, he don't even hide it. Watch out, go into the light. So Joel's suit is sponsored. Not really, but we're speaking into existence by Boohoo Man. We are definitely gonna tag them in the picture so we can get some sponsorships. I'm sure. Big and tall. Going. Big and tall. My book looks so good. I'm sure. Annoying, y'all. Look at them. <laughs> the lighting in here is really bad, but sorry. It's my apartment. It's the lighting in here. Oh. 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 Wait, let me see. Y'all know what's going on, man. I'm saying. I'm saying. I'm saying. My bad, my bad. Hold on, y'all. Let me get, let me get my fit right. Y'all, he's a Thank you so much. 
Boo, mm -hmm. man. See, this the one I like. You see, you see these shoulders? I see these shoulders, cuz. This, I like this. This the one. This the one, boo? This the one. You feel, you feel I fly? Feel, I feel. You I feel, feel like that guy? I feel like that guy. Y'all see me? Oh! All right, let me see. Man, this the one. Look at these shoulders. He said, these man, shoulders. this the one. This the one. <laughs> this it? It's it, boo. This, 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 you look this, good, boo. I like it. This, this, this is what you're going to see, man. You look good. Watch when you see the sh shoes I'm going to have on. I'm going to throw on a rolly. You the earrings <laughs> on? Throwing a rolly, the earrings. Cleaned up. He found him. He said yes to the suit. <laughs> you know, like yes feel, to the dress? I feel good. I feel, I feel good in the suit. He said yes to the suit. Joel, I, wish I, I wish I could wear a suit every day. Don't say that. <sighs> now, my turn. Update. I got my ring. <laughs> um, so today I'm going to go try on dresses. Um, I believe it's going to be my mom, my sister, my Amy, my cousin, and Reese and Rihanna. And hopefully my grandma, I don't know. It was um uh, it was so many so many people who could come in because of COVID and all that stuff. But I'm so excited. Um I'm just really doing it just to get the experience. Um I don't plan on buying anything. And just to get the experience. Every girl, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like just because we're going about this the way we're going about it, like I don't have to miss out on things. Okay, I'm still going to try on a dress, although I ordered my dress already, so. <laughs> you a little post, so baby. You a little 48, baby. Got a little candy in her pocket. She gonna take off like a. You already know. <laughs> You didn't mm. see huh? Oh, the mirror is behind over here. Yeah. That's cute. Oh, that one of the plain ones. Did you have her for in between lace or like simple elegant? No, he's turning in the back. That's cute. Turn around. So you still don't like lace? No, I like this. I like this. I Look at that booty. She don't like it. Yeah, I like that. This is Ronald's daughter. I know, girl. Too much lace. We surprised that she liked that other one. That's not white, though. That's that cream. Yeah. She don't need no white. You supposed to wear white if you a virgin. She didn't have. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Kia's mama and her godmom uh -uh. and her auntie. They reminiscing. Annie.
dresses was pretty cool. It was a nice experience. It was something I've never done before and definitely wanted to experience and I think every woman should go experience it. Um, from my experience, I did feel it was overrated, I feel. A lot of those and a lot of women or brides may feel like they need something like that and you really don't like I ordered my dress from Shein less than $75 and less than $60 okay let's talk about that and like it really like it really don't take all of that and there's nothing wrong with going to the bridal store getting a dress especially if you can afford it there's nothing wrong with that but i think the thing that I, I don't like and i dislike is that that has become the standard and to me it's just like why you know when really the standard should be having a ceremony having those closest to y'all witness the ceremony y'all stand before god This is my dress I'm going to wear for the wedding ceremony, and I'm about to try it. Okay. Here it is, child. From China. Oh, it's pretty. It's thick. It's long. Let's see how long it's going to be on me. Okay, try it on. She's cute. Let's see if he answers. Yeah, girl, you see my train? Yeah, that's cute. And then here's the back. So I'm trying to figure out which shoes to wear because I don't want my shoes to show. <laughs> so I can't wear heels that are too high because of course that makes the dress come down from the ground. So these are like my little shortest, kiddiest heels um, that I can wear. And like, 
um, not worry about my feet showing. I'm probably going to also wear, like, bring some flip-flops to be flat-footed for pictures and stuff. Because you see how my toes are peeking? I don't want that. But definitely when I walk, you will be able to see my toes. So, I don't know. That's just what I'm thinking for now. Because these are just the flattest shoes that I have. And I don't really want them to show anyway. But I'm so excited. Most of all, this dress is 50 freaking dollars. So, ciao. If someone step on it, anything, I don't care. I don't care. I mean, after I need to get my pictures first. But, yes, yeah, so, dress is checked. We got our outfit. Up, Getting things done, man. The journey to merging lives together can be stressful. So now we've kind of taken focus off the wedding and now we're like, you know, trying to merge our lives together, seeing things financially, getting our budgets together, you know, joining each other in bills. And just a side note, um, okay, so I'm already seeing a benefit of um, becoming one and joining together and getting married because um, car insurance, okay, I'm paying a certain amount for my car insurance and when me and Joel get on the same insurance, uh, I'm by myself. And so when me and Joel get on the same insurance policy, it's going to be cheaper, like a hundred dollars cheaper um, for me, and like seventy dollars cheaper for him. It's still, it's still a vibe. Um, but anyways, I ordered Joel's ring. It came in the mail today. I had to order it because his fingers are big. They don't sell his size in this store. Look at the box. It's so cute. I should get down on one knee and be like, will you marry me? Look at him. Look at his ring. Can y'all see it? Let's see. It looks so pretty. The, it's tungsten it's gold um and i we went with tungsten because she said that it's actually really good um if you were to get real gold it can get scratched and all that stuff but tungsten is like a type of metal where it doesn't scratch it doesn't tarnish um and if if you know your guy's rough with his hands and you know joel is a coach he is doing athletic things physical things all day five six days a week so this is perfect for him and it looks really pretty and nice and it was within budget so oh. we're about 19 days away from joel and i um getting married and i'm definitely in my feelings again i thought i was done with them <laughs> but i'm not i'm feeling discouraged and down um and i was just I, I watched a few wedding videos they were so beautiful and it just triggered i guess some un, unmet desires within me that i'm not going to be able to get um as far as you know just type of photos videos just the experience I was also asked if we were going on a honeymoon because someone wanted to gift us, um, wanted to gift us and put money towards it. And that just started to bother me because it's like, no, we're not. <laughs> we're not. We're not going on a honeymoon. And it does bother me. And I feel... Um, yeah, it bothers me. So, I'm definitely in my feelings. I know that I'm going to push through. Because I have no choice. But, um, I'm in my feelings today. So, I just wanted to document this, uh, this part. You know, I don't just want to show the good parts. I want to show everything so a bit sad today it started last night and then 
goes on to today. Child, I can't believe I'm over here crying on the YouTube channel. I said that I wouldn't do that. <laughs> you know, I, I wanted to share these moments because I don't want people to see this and be like, wow, she was so unbothered. She was so strong. Like, no, I definitely was bothered. I definitely, I did have strength to keep going on, but I still dealt with the emotions. You know, and then like, you know, you see other brides and you see them in their dress and you see like all these things that you would have loved to have, you know, um, like I like my dress, but it was, it's definitely something that I had to, I had to just get like, I mean, and even the dresses that I tried on, it's not necessarily, I don't think I would get those. Those was expensive, okay? Like, that's just too much. But I would have loved probably something similar or like that. Um, but you know, I'm gonna do the best I can with what I got. But it, that's definitely the whole moral no part of the moral of this, but just because you doing you using what you got does not necessarily mean that it it excuses you from dealing with your disappointment and your sadness from unmet desires. And it's like, sure, we could have a vow renewal and probably do it the way that we want to do it. Maybe, but who's to say, you know? And I don't want to, I couldn't go to this process like, I couldn't like use that as a coping mechanism. Like you can't, you know, like when you share something with someone and they're like, oh, well, you don't, you can always do it next year. Like I can't do that because you don't know what next year holds. You don't know what the following year holds. You don't even know if you're going to want that next year. So you can't really use that as a coping mechanism. Like, let's be healthy here. Let's be honest. Let's let people feel what they feel and just validate them in that. So. It's been a while. Well, it hasn't been a while because I forgot I was just on here. Emotional. Um, you know, I processed through my feelings, y'all, and you know what I'm saying? Now we're here. I ordered something else from Shein. This is my second time ordering from Shein, and at this point, like, Shein's getting on my nerves. Because it's like, what don't y'all have? Because at this point, I go and type something on Google, and I see that Shein has it. Like, I'm, it's pissing me off. Like, what don't y'all have? So, um, I ordered a something to wear to my um, bridal shower bachelorette festivities uh, which is coming up next week and I ordered a um, dress to wear to the after party a white dress and then just this black bodysuit jumpsuit thing because it was seven dollars and I needed one so let's try it on let's see what she and is giving so y'all I like the dress um, here it is. It's cute. Oh, let me take these off. It's cute. I was trying on different shoes, but, um, I like it. My only thing that I don't like is that the material is thin. So you can definitely see the cellulite in my booty. Like I have a real butt with real fat and fat turns into cellulite. So I personally don't like that. Um, so I need to... I don't know, like find some Spanx or something to put on. Seamless, they don't have the line or anything, no seam. Um, but other than that, I will keep, I think, I got a backup on Amazon. Okay, so, alright. Alright y'all, so I just tried on the outfit that I want to wear for my bachelorette festivities. So, um, here it is. It is a white jumpsuit. And it was thin. Oh my gosh, it's not focusing. Focus. So it's not working. Um, but this was thin too. 
And I actually ordered, like I said, I ordered the black jumpsuit. So I have the black jumpsuit underneath this. So um, it can make it more thick. Kind of small, so I'm gonna have to cut it if I do end up keeping this. Uh, I'm not crazy about it, but I could definitely make it work. So I'm just kind of like lazy right now and I just don't feel like doing anything else. In regards to this wedding, I'm kind of over it. So just the thought of trying to find something, ordering something, returning something. I can definitely make this work. I got the shoes. I got my dress up shoes and my dress down shoes. Uh, Cause I'm not sure of what activities we are going to be doing but i i'm made sure i could wear some heels and i got some jordans some ones so um yeah what does this say lucky label lucky label Yeah.